Pet Pals TV, we welcome you. We welcome all, and especially you pet lovers out there. Joy Hernandez is with us, uh, a trained videographer and photographer, reporter, she does it all, and <laughs> Stewie loves her. So, we're talking about wolf dogs today. Yeah, yeah this when is not a wolf dog. This is not a wolf dog. This is a Bernese. This is a Bernese mountain dog. But when you first approached me with a story, I thought, ooh, people get kind of upset about this because it's not a dog for everybody. And yeah. you agree, and it's reflected in your story. Karen said are fully, the owners of this dog are fully, fully aware of everything that they're in for. They're, they have no illusions as to what kind of a dog they have, what their lineage is. And they know that this, the special needs, the special um, uh, steps that they have to take to make sure that she has a loving yeah. and safe household for everybody involved. And mm -hmm. I mean, even to the point that when they go to the dog park, they go during low traffic times just so that they don't freak out other people that, right. uh, you know, might just, by appearances alone, Freya's completely friendly with other dogs and everything in, in playtime, but just so that they don't have those weird human interactions. Right. Oh, nope. He's going to go oh, okay. He's going to the dog park. I've seen a, a wolf dog before in a dog park, and they, they, they look differently, so they look a little different. And this dog did not, a wolf dog did not associate with the other dogs. It really didn't want to. The other dogs were more aggressive than the wolf dog was. Uh, well, she did say that there were some times where other dogs look at this dog like they've got to, uh, they got something to prove, you know. Uh -huh. And so they'll try to do little, little dominance kind of things to Freya, and uh, she's just like, I just want to play, you know. <laughs> She also lives in a house with uh, two other dogs okay. and other uh, a whole series of other pets. So, and she's not the boss of that house. The uh, the um, older dog Tika, a Siberian Husky, is very much the boss of this house. Okay, okay, we have a lot to learn here. Again, the wolf dog not for everybody at all at all. Let me reiterate that. Joy Hernandez has this story, and the dog's name again is. Her name is Freya. Have a look at Freya. We were wolves once, wild and wary. And then we noticed you had sofas. You've seen the meme, but Freya lives it. Freya is a wolf husky hybrid. She's low content. I don't usually like to give percentages because you can never be accurate with those types of things. She's goofy and friendly, a giver of hugs and kisses, a lover of belly rubs, but don't let her charm fool you. She's definitely more dog than wolf, but there's enough wolf in there to cause mischief. <laughs> Owning a wolf dog comes with challenges different than that of the average Labrador. They want to mark their territory and show you who's boss. So it's constant battle for who's dominant. I do not suggest wolf dogs for just the average American. They're a lot of work, they're a lot of time, and a lot of patience. Uh, if you like having nice things, don't get a wolf dog because they will tear it up and they'll pee on it and they'll poop on it. It turns out that this is Freya's fourth home in her four years of life. Kara and Seth are committed to Freya and it helps that they have other dogs that set good examples. Our other husky that's 10 years old, she's literally half the size of Freya. She's only 35 pounds. She was the runt and she runs the house, not Freya. She, Freya is terrified of her, even though she's senior, can't move that fast, barely see, barely hear, Tika runs the house. Kara explained that a lot of Freya's personality and care needs are very similar to a stubborn husky, only turned up to 11. You need to have an outdoor enclosure that is at least eight to nine feet tall, so they can't jump over it. And you'll also have to worry about getting a sunken barrier because they will dig out. They are Houdinis. They'll do it. <laughs> She's tried. And there are moments when you remember that Freya's not 100% dog. You can tell when the wolf is taking over because she's very, like, focused. She's in her zone. She doesn't want to listen to anybody. And she actually jumps a little bit when you touch her on her behind to get her attention because she's so in the zone. While not for everybody, Freya has finally found her forever home. She's a challenge, but it's 100% worth it. She's absolutely lovable and adorable, and I can't imagine my life without her, really. Joy Hernandez for Pet Pals TV. We love our pets so much, we put up with their dander and fur and dirt. But when it comes time to clean, no one cares for pet owners' homes like Zero Res. Zero Res is the only cleaner that uses empowered water to clean carpets and other surfaces thoroughly without toxic soaps or chemicals. And they never leave dirt-attracting residues so carpets stay cleaner longer.